tonight on 8 out of 10 Cats Christmas Special. Winter Wonder Man, it's Jonathan Ross. Little Saint Rick, it's Ricky Wilson. And their team captain, John Richardson. And facing them tonight, you better watch out, it's Freddie Flintoff. Jingle Bell, it's Rasheen Conaty. And their team captain, Sean Locke. Now, welcome your host, Jimmy. Welcome to the A Out 10 Cats Christmas Special, a show about opinion poll, survey, statistics, and of course, Christmas. Yeah, all well, right. Did you know, for example, two thirds of shoppers admit being influenced by Christmas TV ads? I know I am. I watched that Sainsbury's ad, and now all I want for Christmas is all out war with Germany. <laughs> Last year, Britain had its wettest Christmas since records began, and that's why, this year, Nana's not allowed on the sofa. <laughs> and 36% of children don't know whose birthday is being celebrated at Christmas. With all the festivities, people often forget the true meaning of Christmas, eating a dry turkey in silence after a massive fight. <laughs> right, let's get started. <laughs> What are you talking about? That's the name of our first round. Tonight, it's our panelist's job to guess the British public's top five things they can't live without at Christmas. Uh, Johnston, what do you think the uh, nation can't live without at Christmas? Is it when you go out with your family at Christmas time? I'm going to Winter Wonderland this year with a, ch a child. I hope it's your <laughs> child. It's a friend's child. <laughs> what? My girlfriend's friends are coming down and we're taking the child to Winter Wonderland. Does the, child, does the child have a say in this at all? No, or? no. What it is is basically <laughs> I am being assessed. I'm being watched to what? see... By you tree. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're going and I'm being watched to see if I'm breeding material. That's basically it. My girlfriend's dressing it up as it'll be fun, but what it really is... It's like Ofsted, but for me... Sean, <laughs> <laughs> sure, did you take the family out at Christmas? I quite like going to the races on Boxing Day. With quite the kids? Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I like doing that. In case a jockey, you know, is pulled up sick and you can, you know, put one of them on, make a few quid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like Panto, right? No. Why don't you like Panto? <laughs> Did you go to see it and it said, oh, there's a celebrity in it, and you have to explain to an eight-year-old kid what Dallas was and who Sue Ellen is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they celebrities, they expect uh, uh, One Direction, Miley Cyrus, and they get, like, Gok Kwan and Peter Shilton. <laughs> <laughs> By the time you've explained about Peter Shilton's record caps for England, <laughs> the thing's over. And it's yeah. men dressed as women, women dressed as men. It's like Elton John's bathroom. <laughs> Never you been on a family outing at Christmas. You've never been on a family outing? You've been to Panto, right? That's a family outing. No, or... you just stay in. Play? Isn't Christmas all about staying in? Oh, no, I think, yeah, no, you have to get out. There's a certain point at which you go, if we don't leave this house, there's going to be a murder-suicide. <laughs> I mean, the sort of family outings, the, the traditional ones are Panto, or maybe go and see a nativity. The key to a good nativity, I think, from a performer's point of view, okay. is to throw yourself into it. You'll enjoy this. <laughs> child, otherwise we're getting a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Any school performance is always, always, as an adult, and I say this now, my kids are grown I don't have to go, it's always shit. <laughs> it's horrible. You go, and the worst thing is you have to go along and all you really care about is your kid. I don't care about all the other kids, they're horrible. And you sit there and you go, especially when you go to a concert where they're all going to play like five minutes on the guitar, and you think, all oh, right, very good. Some kid plays the guitar and you're bored shitless. And then you wait and your kid does like three minutes and then that, even that's not very good, frankly, but you've got to pretend it is. Well, I'll tell you, a carol concert you would have enjoyed, this one. Check it out.
That is the best thing about going out now, that in every city centre there's an ice rink. And you can just get a beer and go and watch a toddler crash into a pensioner. <laughs> It's like you've been framed live every day. <laughs> well, most Sit of those there. ice rinks, where, uh, where at the end of the day, there's sort of blood spattered on them. They look like there's been seal clubbing going on. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, do you venture out at Christmas as a family? Do you all go out on an outing? Um, not really. We go... Uh, no. But ice skating, I don't... I'm single. It's one of the things you can't do alone. Um, a creepy ice skate round <laughs> on your own. <laughs> And also, you know when you fall on the ice rink? Do you remember this? When you were little, they said you've got to do that so you don't get your fingers chopped off. <laughs> so I just skate round. <laughs> I think that might be why you're single, because you... <laughs> <laughs> The thing I hate are all these German Christmas markets. I don't like those. The German, you don't like the German Well, Christmas no, they market? lost the war, but they bloody won Christmas, haven't they? They've, <laughs> they've invaded with sheds and sausages. Traditional Christmas it, sausages? Yes, this, this is how you do Christmas. <laughs> That's more Swedish, wasn't it? This yeah. is how you do Christmas! <laughs> Not so like your shitty English Christmas to German Christmas. So I, somebody... I hope in Berlin there's an English Christmas market just selling pegs and dusters. <laughs> <laughs> Should we have a look and see if Christmas outings is up there? Yes, it's family outings. I always enjoy a family outing at Christmas. My family come over and then ten minutes later, I go out. <laughs> Anthony Costa from Blue is to appear in Aladdin in the Theatre Royal Portsmouth. He'll be appearing during the interval selling chalk ices. <laughs> Sean Soon, what else do you think the nation can't live without at Christmas time? Um, <laughs> is it the, um... The, they can't live without... <laughs> The, the, chick, the chick, no, the, the turkey. <laughs> turkey. Do you know why uh, turkey's so uh, essential to Christmas? It's very interesting, this. <laughs> is that turkey contains, naturally contains, tryptophan. Of course. Which is an antidepressant. It naturally occurs in the turkey, not in pill form. Um, <laughs> it's got it in it, and of course it's antidepressant. So imagine that's what gets people through Christmas. So the turkey is actually taking the edge off. Yeah, it's taking I think the edge it off. Might be the half a pint of Bailey's I've drunk as well. Yeah. <laughs> if turkey was that good, you'd have it every week. You just want to have it once a year on the most <laughs> important meal of the year. I've tried cooking it upside down, I've tried cooking it with butter, I've injected it with linseed oil, and it's still fucking horrible. It's it's, <laughs> it's drier than a nun's nasties. There's no going to it. This is the worst <laughs> meat I've ever had. So Christmas dinner can be very expensive. It costs a fortune to put that meal together, but there are sort of budget versions. At uh, Greg's this year, I've got budget Christmas dinner. They've got three options for you. Would you like to would you care to try? Yes. No. So. <laughs> no. <laughs> so they've got Christmas dinner flavoured soup. Okay. Uh, a Christmas dinner bake and Christmas dinner slice. Can I point Which... out that I'm lactose intolerant? You're lactose intolerant. Yeah. Ricky, rather than point it out, can we just find out? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Do these things have uh, meat in them? Do they have meat in them? Yeah. No, the Christmas. Uh, not, not that I think you could identify as meat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't eat meat or shit. <laughs> Well, I insist on both in every oh, meal, so wow. I mean, I'm <laughs> Dig well, let's try, OK, so this is... Let's try the soup first. So I the soup is a liquefied... Not, Christmas. Not You've started, Dawn, what did you have? The, the Christmas dinner? Is it all right? It's beautiful. <laughs> is it nice? I, I would sooner have that than the traditional meal. Roisin, what do you think? It's not as bad as it smells. <laughs> <laughs> not, the, not the first time you've said that. Uh, <laughs> We tried, we tried to get a bit experimental last year for Christmas. We tried, have you heard of this? We went with the turducken. Have you heard of oh, the yeah. turducken? What is the turducken? The turducken is a turkey and a duck and a chicken, and they, I think they remove the bones from the chicken, ram out the arse of the, the <laughs> duck, then that's squeezed together by a very strong, angry man, and that's put up the arse of the turkey. And you think, how much do you want to humiliate those birds? I mean, <laughs> it's bad enough we've killed you, we're going to eat you, but now we're putting up the arse of another bird, and then you're both going up the arse of a third bird. I think it's cruel. I think they should at least slaughter the turkey first. <laughs> now, that's how they died. Was it? Oh, maybe it was, it was a pilot. pilot. Yeah. The bird pilot. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, you've, you've had a little something to to eat. What about some festive drinks for you? I've got yes, festive please. drinks. Yes, please. OK, so you've got three different drinks there to, to sample. One there you go. Yeah, yeah, okay. If you turn that around the other way, you'll be able to see what they are. Cold there you go. So I've got Christmas paste. drinks for you. Watch out, one of those is going to slip, I think. This has turned into Saturday Kitchen, this show. 
do, can we, yeah. You're giving us in the wrong order, John. You're the worst host ever. Why have you given us mince pies first? There's sprouts in the middle. Let's get that out of the way, shall we? That's a, that's a sprout, sprout juice. juice. Sprout juice. Let's we do that. Wanna, out of the way, we don't yeah. want to save that for best. You want to end on the mince pie, don't you? Oh, yeah. Sean, what have you thought? Was there booze in it? Tastes no. a bit like chicken. <laughs> What's next? What about the vodka one? Try the vodka one you next. Just mince pie vodka. Mince pie vodka. Well, I'm actually off the drink myself. Yeah, me Jeez. too. You're off the drink. Mm. Roisin, do three of them. No way. <laughs> I'm a very weak man, and You're I'm not drinking at the moment, and it's so hard for me. But I'm gonna go now. Why? <laughs> Jimmy's face. <laughs> I'm, I'm a professional athlete again. <laughs> <laughs> You're a professional at well, I'm not, but the, work, the work's dried up, so I've gone back to cricket. Even Streetly have stopped phoning, so... <laughs> I've, got, I've, got to do I've got to do something. Machine, have you tried one of the, one of the yeah, vodkas? Yeah, the sprout juice. Sprout juice, do you want to try the She's vodka? Not drinking no, either. Thanks, I'm not drinking. You're not drinking? Yeah. No. We're called the Fun Corner. <laughs> Well, what's well, there? we know at a party, right. unlike those squares. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's this one? This one Who fucking the... cares? Bring it over. We'll have... <laughs> Christmas cake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a strong one. That's like cough syrup. Are you a mm. one? No, I've got oh, a fuck off syrup. Tell me. <laughs> So you can't keep oh, smelling them. <laughs> and I'm, 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 I'm strong. You're gone. <laughs> I'm strong, man. They're not very good, though. <laughs> <laughs> Failure? Going, yeah, you failed again. <laughs> OK, let's have a look and see if Christmas food and drink are up there. <laughs> yes, it's Christmas food. My girlfriend always cooks our turkey to perfection and then leaves it in for another four hours. <laughs> OK, fingers on buzzers, three more things still to get. It must be television. Christmas television. Good one. <clears throat> you used to, it's odd now, it's changed. You used to look forward to what was coming on. And now I look forward to what ends. Because Christmas means the end of Strictly and the end of X Factor and the end of the jungle. And they all wrap up neatly in time for Christmas. Then you can look forward to the voice. Absolutely. <laughs> let's, let's, let's focus on the voice. Yeah, because it's the only thing on TV. We're in like very yes. cheap versions of the voice chairs here, aren't we? Do they still do the spin around? Do they still do it? It's the only yeah. bit people like. I know. Just checking. Should we get rid of they're doing a strictly, they do a strictly Christmas special. I don't know, I bumped into somebody who's done it and they said, yeah, I'm coming back. Well, I said, what are you doing? He said, doing the strictly Christmas special. And he did it about four years ago. And it's like they just drag everyone back from the past, like they, they just throw a net out into a river and see if there's any old, <laughs> any old fish or a couple of whelks left in there. <laughs> How much money Christmas. would you pay to see Sean Locke forced to be on Strictly Come it. Dancing? Can you dance, Sean? Well, yes. <laughs> That's why I don't need to go on. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not really hard, is it? Strictly a piece of piss, isn't it? Just... I'd love to see you, and this is a fantasy I've had for a while, in a shirt stripped down to your waist with ruffles and frills on. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'd like to see me doing. This. <laughs> <laughs> they always make them do that. It's like the ultimate humiliation. It lets you know so that what, you've, what taken, you... you've taken the shilling. Yeah. <laughs> so, I can't do without... you trying to bring a tray of drinks down a tray. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Christmas Day, what do you look forward to at Christmas? Freddie, any TV that you love? Um, more than a piece, like the, the Queen's Speech, I used to watch that. But I'm, I'm not sure she's cut out for telly. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the other, it's like Turkey, it's once a year, isn't it? I, I think she should go in the jungle and raise her profile a little bit. <laughs> or maybe do Strictly and then get her own programme, maybe every week on a Sunday. <laughs> I like watching the Queen. Uh, at Christmas speech. I like to see how she's deteriorated over the year. <laughs> just see what's gone wrong this year, and then you go and you compare and compare them to old years. Go, look, just five years ago. I've never watched them, and I don't want to. It feels like it's a series that's been on for ages, and I don't want to start halfway through. So I need like the box set. <laughs> I need to go back to when well, it, it would started. Make, it'd be great. I don't know when it did start. But it'd be great to have a flick book of yeah. sort of then to now. That you've got really... to see. 2007 was a classic. <laughs> 2007. Wow. She did a snot balloon. Hey, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> the only one they did no live. The only one they did live, <laughs> and she just went. <laughs> it was like a <laughs> Obviously, films and TV, big part of Christmas for most people. And if, if, like, if your TV doesn't work at Christmas, it could be ruined. So you've got to go to extraordinary lengths to make sure that everything's working perfectly. Take a look at what this guy had to do to keep his Sky TV on. <laughs> Whoa! Sky cable's still intact. Just, just rattle it with the wood a few times. Now he's ran that cable right along the gutter. Oops. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and 
That's how Rod Hull died. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know one of the big events in Christmas TV every year now has become the adverts? The adverts have become almost as big as the TV shows. And really the biggest one, the one that people look forward to, is the John Lewis ad. Yes. John, what did, what did you make of it? I thought it was frankly weird. <laughs> yeah. From start to finish that a penguin keeps perving over things. <laughs> and it seems to, to be fair, not a bad life for a penguin for a start. <laughs> Wandering out, he gets taken out and taken to dinner and he's thinking, yeah, but I'd like to get some. <laughs> and then the kid is supposed to be looking at him thinking, I better sort out some poontang for this penguin. <laughs> That's frankly disgusting. And then he's there getting <laughs> off on Christmas morning, grinding up against each other, and his mum sat there with a cup of tea going, ah. Oh. <laughs> the fact that she's only just come down, why is he opening his presents anyway? Let's wait for the whole family to come down. <laughs> he needs to be spoken to, that child. <laughs> Let's have a look and see if Christmas TV and film is up there. <laughs> yes, Christmas TV and films. When I heard there was going to be a Call the Midwife Christmas special, I was absolutely dilated. <laughs> Got away with it! <laughs> We're still trying to guess what the nation can't live without at Christmas. OK, fingers on buzzers, two more things still to get. Present. Present. Yes, Presents. presents is an obvious thing. Yeah. Uh, John, John, you're, you're, uh, you're engaged now. What have, what have you got your fiancé for Christmas? Uh, well, she knows exactly, cos she told me what to get her, so that I didn't get it wrong. <laughs> the thing is, I am great all year round. The Christmas Day gifts are really for people who feel like they haven't hit their targets. <laughs> haven't hit their targets? Yeah, I mean, I... I imagine your relationship has a spreadsheet. <laughs> I, you know, it's, it, it's more of a sort of running totaliser, but... <laughs> do you know, if it's just a Tuesday and I see a curly whirly, I think she might like a curly whirly, I'd get her a friggin' curly whirly. <laughs> I don't have to wait for Jesus to tell me that I can <laughs> wrap a curly whirly up. You buy it from a good store, it comes ready wrapped. <laughs> 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 I've got her a John Richardson calendar, if you must know. <laughs> OK, so what, what's the best present you've ever got? Rasheen, what's the best present you've ever got at Christmas? <laughs> I've, got my, I've got a brown leather jacket and skirt when I was about ten. Wow. Pretty inappropriate, really, looking <laughs> back. <laughs> uh, even my dad looked at my mum, sort of like, Santa's gone batshit this year. <laughs> <laughs> Who got it for you, then, if it wasn't your mum and dad? My mum got it. My oh. dad always... He was as surprised as me when I opened my presents on Christmas. <laughs> so like, oh, this is fun. What about you, Freddie? What was the best gift? Well, I'm, I'm not very good at buying presents. I'm terrible. I remember when we moved in with my missus, we had the first Christmas in our house. And I thought it'd be funny in the stocking, I put in some dishwasher tablets and wrapped them up. <laughs> I put a, a toilet duck and some marigolds. Um, and on the gift tag, I put to Rachel in case I produce a Yuletide log. Uh, <laughs> 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 it, 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 it got a very similar reaction to what I just got there. She wasn't, she wasn't particularly impressed. I, I, I had this girlfriend once, not, not just the one, I mean, just like that. <laughs> and it's Christmas, and I, I said I, I was to get her mum a present. I asked her mum what she wants. She said, uh, Chanel number no. five, which at the time I wasn't earning a lot of money, it's quite expensive. And she sort of saw the look on my face, and she went, You know, I mean, not just the perfume, they do lots of other things. So I got her the wet wipes. <laughs> <laughs> some people, some people are very picky about their Christmas presents, and if they get the wrong thing, they will tell you. Take a look at this kid. What? Yeah. What for Christmas? What the heck is that? <laughs> You don't get books for Christmas? No, I hate it. You hate books for Christmas? Yeah, poo. <laughs> I get poo. <laughs> Hold on. Can we see that little fellow again, though? Because the thing is, seeing as we have him here, John, what was going through your mind at that age? <laughs> <laughs> what a little shit that kid is. <laughs> <laughs> books aren't bad. The worst gifts to get are when Someone knows you like one thing, and cynically at Christmas they just put it on everything. So someone goes, Oh, I know, you like cats, so I got you this soldering iron with a cat on it. <laughs> <laughs> and they just put frozen, it is this year, isn't it? Everything's got frozen on it. Kids are going to get like frozen Wellington boots and shit that no child needs. Frozen peas. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think they should invent a toy that only works when kids are whispering, and then if it goes above, if they go above a certain volume, the toy sets itself on fire. <laughs> Happy 
Yeah, of course, of course, it only takes one family member to ruin Christmas. Have a look at this. What's going on our cruise? Because my is going to help with tomorrow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know what? That was the greatest Christmas shot ever. You hold the new camera and Jasper dog out of corner. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. There's a fire going in the background. Stockings are hung by the fireplace. And Jasper's humping the boy. <laughs> Jasper, enough. How are we supposed to compete with that? <laughs> Can I just point out that there's Jedwood's been scratched into this desk? Put Jedwood on one. Yeah, Jedwood were on here and they scratched it in because they're um Rock and Roll. Have they have they written rock and roll? No, they've just written Jedward. But I was yeah. thinking it's quite the only rotten. word they can actually write is Jedward. <laughs> <laughs> I like Jedward. They yes. came out. They actually came out uninvited to my house one afternoon, not that long ago, right? Because they and the guy who was driving the car knew I lived there. They drove past, and there was a knock on the door, and I was there with my wife, and she was in a bit of a bad mood for some reason. And they went, "Hello, there's a jump on the door." She said, "Right there, jump Jedward." She went, "What's that? What's that?" I went, "I think it might be Jedward." <laughs> and, and before I could say, she went, "Okay." She pressed the button to let him in. I'm going like, "No!" <laughs> in slow motion, they came in the house. They don't listen for a second. They don't really understand what's going on. I had to lock up the dogs because the dogs were going crazy. They don't know what they were. <laughs> dogs never seen even like two dog chews walking. <laughs> <laughs> And then I've got the new, I've got the new <laughs> Xbox One, and the Xbox One is voice activated. So you go, you've seen the evidence. You go, Xbox, turn on. It goes, Bing. Your Xbox, go to Titanfall. And I said to Jeb, well, I didn't know what to show him. It's like having two hyperactive maniac children. I went, uh, look at this. Uh, uh, <laughs> Xbox, go on. And I went, oh Jesus, can you do that everywhere in the house? And he went, I was it. Lights go on. Door <laughs> open. And he, he left convinced that only my voice would work, but that everything was operating that way. <laughs> So they just pitched up at the front door they for no up reason. The front door, yeah, they were very sweet, but it was exhausting. They were about thirty minutes. It felt like a week. <laughs> okay, well I've got I've got presents for, for everyone because it's Christmas time. I thought I'd get presents for everyone. So I've, I've I've got you some gifts. Freddie, I've got you a little something. It's under your desk. There you go. I think you'll enjoy this. There you go. Perfect. Good. Right. Yeah, you can lift up. There you go. Ah. <laughs> It's a kebab rotisserie oh, grill. How did, you, how did you know? So you can turn it on at the front. You turn it on at the front. Yeah, there you go. Oh, look at that. And I've... <laughs> did you eat it? Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Freddie, there you go. It's a there's prop, there's Freddie. everything you need Thank you very to much. make us all a kebab. Is that a genuine thing? Yeah, oh, yeah. Buy? That's a genuine thing you can buy. Is that That's really meat or have you just eaten foam? No, oh, that God. is a lovely, sweaty bit of meat. <laughs> You, you could stop it to carve it. No. I'm not pissed enough, Freddie, so... <laughs> it's That's proper. It. It's a proper... Slice. <laughs> no, it's very good. You're in such a rush. It's a good gift for Freddie, I think. Freddie, yeah. I wouldn't eat that. It's got a rash. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Delicious. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, yeah, OK. Well, hang on. Who else have I got gifts for? Oh, so, Roisin, I got you this. Oops. Now... <laughs> Oh, that's too much chilli sauce on there. I love that. I love those things. I love the way they turn yes. through the night. They're like a lighthouse for drunks, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you this. I know you like cats. You're Thank a cat you very person. Much. So I've got you, you that. That's the windows. That's actually not bad. No, yeah, no, they're d delicious. Yeah, delicious. if you want to have a stroke. <laughs> Um, Roisin, you're a cat person, so I've got you that. I think there might be a bit of cat in this. <laughs> <laughs> Turn that round so people can see Sorry. it. Sorry. Yeah. We have some beer. <laughs> what is it? It's a special device so you can teach your cat in eight weeks to use a human toilet. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. yeah. We love to so have some beer when... <laughs> I wasn't joking. <laughs> Sean, here's what I got you for Christmas, mate. There you go. Okay. So I'll 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 can't go. be bothered to get up. <laughs> I think I think you'll like this, Sean. Right. And this works anywhere in the world. Do you want me to open it now? Yeah, you can open it now. Okay. I think you'll like it. Bear, Ring bear? for beer. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want non alcoholic. So that'll work any, anywhere in the world. Really? If you're on tour, you can just ring that and he'll bring you a beer. That is now his full-time job. 
Which part of that was more expensive, the bell or Stevie Ritchie? <laughs> There's another one. We're Thank, after you. Jen. Jen. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Are you just eating the kebab meat now? Protein. I'm on a diet. <laughs> Jimmy, can I smoke as well? <laughs> <laughs> now, what do I get for anyone else? Oh, Ricky. I'll get you this. Now, this be... is for the Kaiser Chiefs tour next year. It's better now, you be go a out in January. Bell. Okay. It's I think it's a really in. good gift for you because it's sort of quite street because it's a hoodie. I don't like it. But also, it's so you can have a. <laughs> <laughs> You can sleep on the tour bus because I thought you'd be on that bus and you wouldn't be comfy. This is an excellent gift. I well, thank that. you. <laughs> Do I get to keep this? Yeah, of course, yeah. Ken, nothing. Christmas Christmas. This isn't the BBC, is it? <laughs> oh, <that's good. laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy. It's nice, though, isn't it? <laughs> I think you get a bit of rest on the tour. There you go, really good. Jonathan, there's your lovely gift. Thank you. Can you pass that over? Good. Thanks. It's really practical as well. Yeah. And stylish. <laughs> okay, I've got. Holy shit. This is cool. I've got a big remote control spider. <laughs> you want to put it on the floor? On it, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> John, it's a remote control spider. How scared could you be? Well, it's small. <laughs> John, how could you be scared of that? Oh, it's it's weird, though, John. I was trying to steer him away from you, but he wanted to be with you for some reason. I'm... And, um, what what possible creature? good could you do with a gift like that? You could scare someone half to death and inherit money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't like touching it. I like my spider. Thank you, Jimmy. Okay, well, John, I didn't. I didn't. I got everyone else a gift. I didn't get John anything. Oh. Uh, we'll just move on. The end of that round. No. <laughs> I, I got you a little something. If you, there you go, John. Lovely little gift for you. Thanks, Jimmy. I think of anything, I got you the nicest gift. It's just uh, an eye mask. We'll just pop it on. For a really small pop bra. It on. <laughs> now I'll, I'll come over and grab John. So bring th bring that in. Bring that in. Got a lovely present for John. Oh, I like that noise. You're not giving me your penis, Jimmy. <laughs> that was not the noise. Stevie, take all your clothes off and just get in the box. <laughs> Steve. Oh God. Have you seen Eyes Wide Shut? <laughs> it's a bit like that. <laughs> okay. There you go. There's your Christmas present. Holy <laughs> shit, balls. <laughs> I noticed that one's already done a shit in there. Eat them? <laughs> we cannot eat them. Just <laughs> 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 ate in there. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, can I train them to use the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, do you want to feed them? Oh. If you pick up one of the fish by the end there, look. Do, hang on. There you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fight. Hang on. Give them one each, otherwise the they're going to fight. Oh. <laughs> no, don't no, don't no, don't no, don't no they can't have kebab me. I'm 90% sure they're, they're, they're not pissed enough. <laughs> <laughs> look at them. You look in their eyes, you can see what ruthless little bastards they really are. <laughs> I don't like this one here. You don't like that one? No, he's the dominant one. OK, we'll kill that one, which well, you can have that one. Yeah. <laughs> John Lewis, at this moment in time, we're going like, yes! Yeah. Yes! <laughs> yes! Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching! <laughs> what noises do penguins make? None, they haven't said a fucking word. <laughs> they must have a noise. Do you want to feed one? Yeah. Come and feed one, Rishi. Oh. Yeah, yeah of course you can, yeah. Feed, feed him a, feed him a little... You're going to feed one, Sean? Oh, no. You're feed just feeding yourself. <laughs> You pass me one, Freddie. I don't want to bend down and get my. Open your mouth. You're a bit tired. I'm scared. No, you're not. Okay. Amazing. Obviously, we've got great handlers here, and we are sponsoring some penguins. All right, fellas. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the penguins. Well, let's see if presents are up there. Mm. Of course, of course they are. <laughs> yes, it's Christmas presents. The average Briton spends 15 hours doing their Christmas shopping, although for a man that drops to, yeah, these chocolates, this card and the petrol on pump three, please. <laughs> There's nothing that shows gratitude for a gift more than those three little words. Got the receipt? <laughs> We're still trying to guess what the nation can't live without at Christmas time. OK, fingers on buzzers, one more thing still to get. Sean's team? Uh... Parties, Christmas parties. 
Well, what I think is interesting about Christmas parties is they're, they're like a, a possible trapdoor into another life, aren't they? <laughs> it's like you can work all year with these people and then you go to the Christmas party and you can completely change all your circumstances. Like you, can, you, you can say to yourself afterwards, you say to yourself, well, I remember I walked in, I said hello to Cheryl from accounts, and then now I'm sitting in a bedsit in my pants eating beans out of a tin. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> Freddie, any, any memorable Christmas parties? Every day was Christmas for a while. Um, <laughs> but one, one of the worst I was in Pakistan. We was touring Pakistan with England under-19s. I was captain. And we stayed in this hotel, and Pakistan was dry. But I saw a flaw in the system. That what you what was the flaw in the system? Well, if you declared yourself an alcoholic, you could get drink. So I had to go down to the hotel reception and, say, and, and declare myself and fill a page in and answer questions, which came all too easy. <laughs> and then I managed to get drink, um, ordered 300 bottles of beer and put them in my bath in my room and invited the rest of the team round um, for our Christmas party in the hall. It's incredible, the inventiveness, when you really need when it. When you need it, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Roisin, are you, are you a fan of the Christmas party? Um, no, I've, I used to work in offices, and so I had to go on lots of office Christmas parties. The They're enforced always... fun, yeah. Yeah, so I've gone to ones like wine tasting, uh, with all the bosses, which is like a trap, basically, cos it's just truth serum, isn't it? It's <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's like, I ate it here, like, Bill. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan <laughs> of By the way, I'm <laughs> talking about booze's truth serum. It's truth serum, yeah. They're wine tasting, they're all spitting it out, the bosses. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Brah, shit here, innit? <laughs> <laughs> I think people make bad decisions at Christmas time. Right. Um, here, here's someone in a school making a bad decision. <laughs> <Here's> <laughs> a, this is in a school. Hey! I like the fact he put his hood up so that nobody would know who he was. <laughs> <laughs> who was it? Oh, I think it might be Steve, cos he's still picking pine needles out of his anus. <laughs> you know, look, I, I found out there's a statistic. Over a 1,000 people go to casualty on Christmas Day for falling down the stairs in their new novelty slippers. <laughs> because they're not used to them. I think they jumped. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's all I've got. Yeah. Is this all I've got? <laughs> Slippers, is it? All right. Mm -hmm. We'll be spending today in A and E. <laughs> <laughs> I only had wait today at the table. <laughs> something worse about being injured at Christmas, isn't there? You do feel like this is the time you said, I had a very bad... It wasn't directly Christmas-related, but it was a bad Christmas injury. We'd moved into a new house, I had my first child, this is a long while ago, and it was the first morning, it was Christmas morning, and the boiler went, we had no heat. And I was, like, really furious, so I went upstairs to try and fix it. All I had done was a robe, and I was trying to fix it, and it should have been a beautiful Christmas, cos we had our new baby, and our cat had had kittens. It, it was, like, the perfect setting. And Not as right. I had my head in the cupboard, I was trying to fix the boiler, my testicles, which are quite low, it has to be said, <laughs> the kitten saw them and thought Christmas had come early. <laughs> no! Yes, it, this actually happened. And one of them took a swipe and I stood up. I've never, ever hit my head so hard, right? <laughs> and the cat was hanging on, he was loving it, he was swinging, <laughs> he was swinging, he was in there, he was deep. Hanging on? Yeah, but yeah. i tell you what, you've never seen a kitten move so fast after that. <laughs> Cos once I connected, he was gone. Hang on. <laughs> the boiler had broken, it was cold. Yes. You were naked. Oh, I had put a bit of whiskers on my balls just to lure him in. <laughs> shall, we, shall we have some enforced fun now? I mean, it's Christmas time. It seems like it's the time of year for enforced fun. Mm. Shall we have some charades? Rasheen, you're, you're performing for your team charades. Okay. I'll, I'll give you that. Performance area is just there. What is Hang charades? <laughs> you can tell we don't rehearse it. <laughs> Here's our rules, okay? Okay. Uh, so you oh, have to God. act out what's written on the card with either an impersonation or a mime. And, uh, Do I for the say that? You, uh, you, what, this is a, this is a mime. Right, yeah, right, right, say right. that. That'll be much funnier. Um, is this happening? Yeah. <laughs> okay, against the clock. Go. Impersonation. <laughs> is that how it's done? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that is how it works. Is that how it's done? Okay. Trust yourself. Just trust yourself. <laughs> Come on. Five years at Rada. Go. <laughs> Kerry Katona. <laughs> You can talk, but you have to do an impression, yeah. I love bacon. <laughs> David Miliband? Yeah, Ed 
Ed Miliband. Ed Miliband. <laughs> no, he's got it wrong. Ed Miliband. <laughs> OK, next one. Next one, Rashi. Next one. Next one. <laughs> Suarez. That's it. <laughs> Getting into this too much. The idea, the idea is to make her suffer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get it right. Get yeah. it, Freddie. <laughs> Horson Holson. Um, you, you, I'm in charge of Europe. I know who it is. Keep going, though. <laughs> <laughs> what does she dance like? <laughs> Angela Merkel. <Better>. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Gold. <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> Uh, Jonathan, yeah, you're performing for this well, team. Well, Ricky said he's good at Schwartz. Oh, well, you do then, Ricky. I'm legendary, guy. because okay. I once I'm... called off 12 angry men in under a minute. Wow. <laughs> Aren't you going to do it? Did you not do it? No, I don't want to do uh, it. Are there actual points at stake here, James? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, so am I allowed to speak, then? Yeah, you're allowed to speak, but you have to do an impersonation. OK. Against the clock, time starts now. Blah, 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 get out of the bloody country. Where's my beer? Woodbite. Back in the woodbite. Yes, thank you. <laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> Miley Cyrus. Thank you. Thank you. Skippy. <laughs> uh, this is. Oh, she's a. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> See, Rasheen, watch and learn. This is how you do it. <laughs> Angela Merkel. <laughs> Freddie Flintoff. <laughs> <laughs> My part on that one. That was Victoria Beckham. Oh, well. What? <laughs> Me either. Well, this one's impossible to do. How do you do this? Be the boy. I, the boy. It's sort of like... I don't... Uh, uh, I don't like anything like that. Uh, <laughs> I don't like anything. I'm very quiet. John Richardson. Yes. You're <laughs> <laughs> hard, hard to do. Bonus point for Johnson, eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if Christmas parties are up there. <laughs> yes, Christmas parties. <laughs> At the end of that round, Sean, Rasheen and Freddie have two points. John, Ricky and Jonathan have four points. <laughs> and the winner is, is the name of our final round. Here is your first one. Celebrity Brits would least like to spend Christmas with. Saddam Hussein. He's dead. <laughs> He is dead. God, what a way to hear, Freddie. You're going to be all right. <laughs> um, John, what do you think? Uh, Peter Andre, I imagine. Oh. If his adverts are anything to go by. <laughs> Dinner around his, his house. This tastes like shit. I know, and it was only 59p at Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon, you know Katie Price? I reckon in her house she has a special waiting room for all the dads coming. <laughs> 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 Presents to their kids. So there's a woman there, a clipboard, who says, uh, Mr. York? Yes, you can go through. Mr. Andre, just wait five minutes and uh, you'll be seen in a moment. <laughs> You're a celebrity, John. What's the best thing yeah. about spending Christmas with you? Uh, just the alcohol, the volume of it. <laughs> Christmas, I'm a bit of food easy, so what I like to do on Christmas Day is match the food with the alcohol we're drinking. So you get the booze in first. So, like, start with champagne in the morning. You don't want anything too heavy, do you? Might have a croissant or something. <laughs> then I'll have, like, uh, a martini and lemonade mm. uh, with some presents. And then I might step it up a bit and have a beer. Mm -hmm. So then I'll have, like... People have pigs in blankets, don't they? And I'm, I don't eat meat. So I get, like... Uh, we call them carrots in pyjamas. <laughs> <laughs> it's a carrot. So I boil a carrot, but I don't peel it. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan, well, what's, what's it like spending Christmas around yours? Oh, it's, uh, you can imagine, it's just a delight, a thrill. <laughs> Wonderful. I normally wake early and uh, open the presents that I like the look of. <laughs> leave the rest for the kids. Sometimes they get better presents than me, and I don't think that's fair, cos I'm paying for them all, so I'm gonna take them. <laughs> I normally wake up in the middle of the night and start drinking, just so I've got a head start on everyone else. <laughs> so by the time my wife wakes up, I'm already having a fucking argument with her. <laughs> Ricky, what, what about you? How would Christmas be with you? It just reminded me of a story, because what I am was talking about Christmas is that if he ever had kids, he w he'll tell them that Father Christmas doesn't exist. And we, I was like, why will? And he was like, <laughs> I work hard all year. I want them to know it's from me and not some imaginary guy. Wow. Right. He, OK. And I kind of get it. 
No, well, part of the fun of having kids yeah. is uh, being able to pull the wool otherwise on a regular basis. <laughs> <laughs> laughing behind their back. <laughs> <laughs> we used to go to a lot of trouble. We'd lay out food for Santa, there'd be carrots for the reindeer, we'd put out cookies for Father Christmas and milk. And then I had to eat them all every year. <laughs> and in the morning I'd go, there weren't enough for Santa last night, so you're not getting anything. <laughs> <laughs> we used to put out a, uh, a like, a, a antiseptic bath for the reindeer to walk through. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't bring any lice into the house. <laughs> <laughs> the kids really believe that once you've got one of those in. Okay, let's get some answers on this. So, celebrity Brits would least like to spend Christmas with? She, I'll give her that as a clue, very opinionated. Katie Hopkins. Katie Hopkins. That's the right answer. You got there. Wow. Straight away. <laughs> yes, according to the survey, the celebrity Brits would least like to spend Christmas with is Katie Hopkins. I'd love to have Katie Hopkins around for Christmas. Last year, my girlfriend said she wanted a bigger tree. Well, you can't get more bigger tree than Katie Hopkins. <laughs> okay, final question. All right, worst place to wake up on Christmas Day? Chicken cottage. <laughs> What do you think, John? Worst place to wake up on Christmas well, it's morning? it's not... I mean, we're being very uh, negative, aren't we, about Christmas here? It's lovely. I won't have this negativity. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you like Christmas, but some people absolutely bloody love Christmas. They go out of their way. Take a look at this guy's house. <laughs> Answers that question. The worst place to wake up is next door to that prick. <laughs> so I like the idea you open the door and a little old couple come out. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie, Freddie, where's the worst place you've woken up? Um, on a beach. <laughs> yeah, Saint Lucia. Sounds, Sounds right. Bloody awful. <laughs> no, it, it wasn't. It wasn't good. There's a pedal involved. Oh, oh I, what involved? I remember the. There was yeah. a pedal involved. It, it made the papers. <laughs> Move on, didn't you? I mean, I don't know the story. In brief, it was during the Cricket World Cup and I thought it'd be a good idea to get very drunk and try and take a pedal out to see and get home. <laughs> were you, were you it, trying it, to get home? I didn't realise that. It, it, it didn't end well. Well, no, you, got, you came back... Well, I didn't to... die. It was probably the biggest blessing. <laughs> I still were getting on it, to be honest. I was... I wasn't too good on my legs. Ah, <laughs> uh, your land legs. <laughs> <laughs> the pedalo, that's where you belong. <laughs> What do you think, Machine? Locked in between, um, you know, I, I live in a conversion, locked in between the front door, the main front door, and your flat door. <laughs> so you've got a flat in a house, so they've got, you've got a communal front door, and then you've and I've be been locked in it quite a lot of times. What, between the front door and your and flat, flat door? Yeah, so a lot of people have just found me, like, lurking around. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so, um, worst place to wake up on Christmas Day? Strapped to the mast of a galleon. <laughs> <laughs> And it's a deserted, it's a, it's a ghost <laughs> ship. You can just see land, but you're going the wrong way and you can't, you're strapped, you can't steer. <laughs> and the wheel's spinning behind you. <laughs> There's one mince pie on the deck. And then you think, I've got to get out and eat it. And you see a seagull land stop pecking through the crust of the mince pie. And you think, I'll still eat it. And then a wave comes and washes it off. <laughs> Is it that, Jimmy? <laughs> That's number two. <laughs> OK, you'll have had to be up to no good the night before. Prison. Oh, yeah. Prison's the right answer. <laughs> yes, the worst place to wake up on Christmas Day is in a prison cell. At least waking up in a prison cell is a great way to visit all your favourite 70s entertainers without having to go to a panto. <laughs> Me, it's the end of the round and the end of the show, which means the final scores are Sean, Rasheen and Freddie have two points, but the winners, with six points, John, Ricky and Jonathan. <laughs> and now, singing us out in true festive style, it's the real star of this year's X Factor, Stevie Ritchie. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh. Yes. Yes, come on now. Let's see, uh, all up on the stalls, come on. Come on, that's, uh, that's it, thank you, yeah. Come on, everyone, let's join in. Rocking around. Christmas tree, have a happy holiday. Mr. Hung, where you can see everybody tries to stop. Oh, I'm coming over, kids. Hunking around Christmas tree, let the Christmas spirit ring. Maybe we'll have some pumpkin pie and do some caroling. Here we go. You will get a sense and a feeling to me when you hear. Voices singing, let's be jolly.
Check the holes we're about to haul On the ground, it's a street of Christmas holiday Everyone's dancing merrily in a new old-fashioned way Merry Christmas, everyone loves the lots of love here Christmas special. Tis the season to be Holly, it's Holly Willoughby. Once in Royal Davis City, it's Alan Davis. And their team captain, John Richardson. And facing them tonight, Park the Henning Angels Sing, it's Henning Vane. You better watch out, it's Roisin Conaty. And their team captain, John Luck, with special guests. Nick Helm, Joe Wilkinson, and telling us what they really think, the Goggle Boxers, Stephanie and Dominic, the Michael family, Linda, George, and Pete, and the Tapper family. Now, welcome your host, Jimmy. Welcome to the 8 out of 10 Cats Christmas special, a show all about opinion poll surveys and Christmas. Did you know, for example, women spend an average of 49 hours planning how they'll look on Christmas Day? What, overheated, drunk and crying? <laughs> Over Christmas, 90% of British families put up a Christmas tree and 10% put down a dog. <laughs> and 30% of office workers admit to seeing a colleague engaged in a romantic activity at a Christmas party. That is, if you consider photocopying your boobs a romantic activity. <laughs> Which I do, so keep sending them in. <laughs> right, let's get started. <laughs> What are you talking about? That's the name of our first round. Tonight, it's our panellist's job to guess the British public's top three favourite things about the festive season. Sean Steen, what do you think people like about the festive season? Presents. Christmas presents. People like Christmas presents, what, what are you hoping for? Well, I was quite disappointed last year, cos my family uh, got me uh, psychiatric gift vouchers. They all clubbed together. <laughs> and I was disappointed, cos I'd asked for a crossbow. <laughs> but, uh, on a lighter <laughs> note, I like something decent. I, I've got a rule in my house. If I don't like what I... I'm given, I turn off the central heating. <laughs> Puts a little bit of pressure on the family, but it's a good compromise from the old method, which was the trapdoor. <laughs> Before someone gave me a present, they had to stand on a trapdoor. <laughs> and, you know, if I didn't like it... <sighs> it's a proper game show, and then yeah. you've got manure under their door, <laughs> and then they're drowning in a manure, and then you say, not good enough. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and the worst people are the ones that are actually looking forward to Christmas, aren't they? Because they've got... They're so fixated mm. in their head on how they want Christmas to pan out. And now, I remember donkeys ago, my mother always took it on herself to decorate <laughs> the living room for Christmas. So then my father and I, we had to leave uh, the living room, so she locked the door after her, and then my father and I played a game of chess. Then after a while, she was done, so we followed then into the living room, saw... Saw it and were not quite as overawed yeah. as she had hoped for. And then she was livid, stormed off into the bedroom, came back with a plastic bag full of all the presents and uh, tipped them all <laughs> out. <laughs> so, uh, in front of the Christmas tree. So I went into my room, got my bag and tipped it on top of it. Is that why you moved to England? <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you hoping for? I my mum gets me good gifts, but she buys in bulk. So if I ask for a particular mascara, She'll buy enough to last me the year, but she wraps them all individually. <laughs> so I unwrap one and go, oh, thanks, Mum. She goes, well, if you like that, you're going to love this. And then I have to go through unwrapping the same present relentlessly. It's a good thing she doesn't get your M&Ms. You'd be there for <laughs> days. <laughs> In a way, I did that with my father once. I bought him 
I bought him a Christmas present. Settle in, everyone. And <laughs> he's got a story. <laughs> well, I'm, I, I know I'm not overly qualified at telling stories, but I give it a good old try. <laughs> <laughs> What was I talking about? <laughs> your dad's Christmas present for your dad. Yes! Yes! yes. <laughs> that one. Go on, tell it. No, yeah, I will, I will. Uh, don't hassle me, so... Um, <laughs> I don't want to rush through it and then miss important details. <laughs> so, my father... <laughs> <laughs> or, as I like to call him, my father... <laughs> Interrupt you again. Is that, no. But I don't think you're going to top that. No. <laughs> <laughs> I bought him the book. What was it called? The <laughs> 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 Unheilige Krieg, the Unholy War, about civil war in Lebanon. So I. I... <laughs> Oh, of course you did, yeah. Merry Christmas. So he opened the Christmas book. And so he opened the book. So, oh, yeah, very interesting. So, and then I knew for a fact <laughs> he hadn't read it over the course of the year. So, next Christmas, he obviously gets the same book again. <laughs> no, you were right initially. We should have ended a lot earlier, shouldn't we? <laughs> John, what, are you excited about presents? Well, Henning and I were chatting earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm shit at buying presents, and every year some paper will do a big, oh, we've got the ten must-have gigs this Christmas. If you want to buy something for your mum, have you thought about a scented candle? You go, yeah, obvious I thought about a scented candle. <laughs> I'm not going to buy her one because they're crap. Are you brave enough to buy lady clothes or underwear? I have had an experience in the past where I went through the humiliating experience of buying knickers for a lady who broke up with me uh, the day after Christmas, and those knickers, well, I didn't get the benefit. So, uh, <laughs> this is not a voice that can ask for... I don't s suavely go into a shop and, hey, I got a lady looking for some paintings. <laughs> I go in, quite right, well. Everybody looks when you go, do you do, um, <laughs> <laughs> like, like boxer shorts, but thin, wispy things to cover a butterfly? <laughs> well, whatever you call it. <laughs> it's difficult, though, buying lingerie. I think that's, it's like people... Because I you think, don't know the size. I guess the size. Just open her drawer and find out the day before. Well, you know, just have a route through a knicker drawer. I'll be in all kinds of trouble. <laughs> but what about if you don't know where she lives? <laughs> Yeah, John, for Christmas, I got you a little Christmas present. That's nice. I got that. I thought you'd like it. <laughs> oh, you've written my name on it as well. You've remembered I don't have an H in it. It's more than most of my family do. <laughs> it's a remote control mop because I know you like being tidy. So if you just put that, if you just put that on the top there, and then I've got the remotes on. So just the one on the left. That's amazing. You can clean around the place. Oh! <laughs> That'll be fine, that'll be fine, don't worry about that. <laughs> put it on the circle, put it on the circle. Put it in the middle. Perfect. You could just have a little sit on the couch, have a tidy. I got you I got you another present. It's nice to have you always mopping. love mopping stuff. You are in luck, my friend. Scary. You are in luck. I've got you the greatest gift a man could ever get. That mop makes the same noise I do. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Tonight. They're mop slippers, so if, oh. you just, if you want to put those on, you can have a little... Oh. God. An amazing present. I'd have the cleanest house, if only I had guests. <laughs> I wish those slippers were remote control and we oh. could just whiz you round the side. <laughs> we'll find out in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, they go, they go different ways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got them, haven't I? That's the ones you walk around the kitchen yeah. and like nutter. Yeah, I, you go... Oh, you, you polish your... Yeah, I do tap dancing in them. 
pretty cool. Most there's people a, just a... shove their foot at the end of a dog and roll it around up the floor. That is a nice little. Pretty I've been cool. With these for years. <laughs> Holly, Holly Willoughby. <gasps> Do I have one too? Got your lovely present. Thank you. There you go. Oh, thank you very Perfect. much. Perfect, lovely present for a lady. <gasps> can I open it now? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, sure. So this is a handbag. <laughs> it's, a, it's a handbag. No, no, you don't. <laughs> you don't open it like that. I've got, I've got a wine. No, no, don't. don't hang on. I'll get oh, you a wait, glass. Wait, there wait. you go. Perfect. You just pop that there. <gasps> and then you a just. Give away. That's the best present ever. <laughs> you can just. <laughs> That's got, got two pints of very cheap wine. Look at that. I'm made up. <laughs> oh, Linda! Oh, 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 I want one that. of them. I love a bit oh, of that. Oh, oh that's what I want. Rum and coke. Don't let your it's, a ba it's a bag. It's a bag of drink. Oh, it's my oh. handbag. Oh, my bag. It's the Versace it's wine bag. Buddy, I've got yeah, I've the got wine that. bags. <laughs> Alan, I've got you. I've got you this. Hope you like it. Like that. Not a very good receiver. You're not a very good receiver. No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel very negative. As soon as I see it coming, I'm like, oh no, don't oh, get that. Yeah. Want anything? Well, take... What have you got me? Oh, I'm like that. So I'm not disappointed. Take... <laughs> <laughs> Jelly baby. <laughs> oh. It's a gummy bear. What's that all about? You're taking a piss. What's that? <laughs> Apparently, you're not a very good receiver. <laughs> We're going to test that out. <laughs> you've got really another one. Yeah. Go, if you don't like that oh, one, we've got quite heavy. One. That's quite heavy. It's a larger one, look. <laughs> oh, big wow. versions of things like that make me feel a bit ill. <gasps> Imagine how hungry. <laughs> <laughs> It looks delicious. <laughs> Feel yeah. free to take a bite. Maybe bite his nose off. Okay. It's like watching a lion. It was like something from Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> Machine. Oh, Got you that. Got thank you. Little you. Present. I love thank you very nice. much, Jimmy. No problem at all. Happy to help. Hope you like it. I've got you a couple, a couple of things. What have you got me? Well, you know, sometimes there is a mistletoe around when you want mistletoe. Yeah. Aww. Hello. I mean, That's not threatening to anyone at all. <laughs> <laughs> What's this bit? That's a personalised calendar I had made for you. <laughs> Oh my god, you really have. Promotion quantity. Put it all over it. December's my favourite. Go December. December's okay. December's worth checking out. Oh hello. Hello. Oh, <laughs> nice. Is that you, Sean? <laughs> yeah, I wear the apron round the other way. <laughs> <laughs> that little hot fat all up my front. <laughs> Annie, how long have you been living in the UK? Since 2002. So, you've been here a long time. I consider you to be sort of English now, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, I So, am. I got you this. Look at that. Thank Congratulations. You very much. Welcome. Ah. Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> Delightful. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting better. <laughs> Yes. When England win the World Cup, <laughs> there I will be in Trafalgar Square, shouting with the best of them. Yeah. <laughs> also, I've got you a little additional gift as well. Well, let me. I think put any the Englishman would be happy first. with that. Yes. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Six. Oh, yeah. Really, I? Two World Wars and one World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of us. <laughs> The World at War, the ultimate restored edition. 
So if that's the one we win, uh, <laughs> yeah. We like the start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, a couple of weeks ago, you mentioned onesies on the show, and you didn't have a onesie because you couldn't decide what animal best sort of summed you up. Yeah. So, we got you this. I think I've nailed it. Thanks for ruining the surprise. <laughs> oh. So, let's see what uh, animal <laughs> I could possibly be. Pop him on. That is amazing. Ah. Oh. He's not real. There's a clue. You're a oh. female kangaroo, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> a kangarella. <laughs> all the presents are very well wrapped. Well, it took me all afternoon. I thought so. <laughs> I get real pleasure out of ripping it apart at the site so you can get it into the recycling and doesn't take up quite as much space. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible what difference a onesie makes, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's really softened you. It's very good for robberies, isn't it? <laughs> can't make hey, you look a right plonker. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, wearing that, oh, I'm wearing the local outfit. <laughs> local You're on the wrong continent here. Oh, that fits in there. <laughs> if you had to get something from the fridge at home, you're wearing that relaxing on Christmas Day, you would presumably you would hop. I see what you want me to hop with it. Well, <laughs> in an ideal world, that would be my best thing ever. Please hop. I just think it'd be funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I think you've got the wrong animal. I think I've proved my point. It's impossible to find an animal which I am comfortable inhabiting. I think you'd be a tortoise. Because <laughs> tortoises look a little grumpy sometimes. A tortoise? We think a tortoise would be really good for you. What tortoise-like qualities do I possess? Your mouth's a tortoise shape. You like, if you make a, a salad, I bet you look like a tortoise. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so, like I've been compromised in my bedroom and everyone's seen me take off my pyjamas. <laughs> right, a real chill, then. <laughs> I, actually, I actually felt vulnerable for a second. <laughs> no, I think you should show that vulnerability. I think it's adorable. <laughs> Shit presents, Jimmy. <laughs> well, you've ruined Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look and see if Christmas presents are up there. <laughs> Yes, of course. Christmas presents. The top present children want this Christmas is a baby brother or sister. Fair enough, but you know the rules. One in, one out. <laughs> John's team, what do you think people like about the festive season? It's like parties. Christmas parties. Well, there's a big one. New Year yeah. people New like, Year. don't they? Yeah. Well, I'm excited about this one because seven years ago, I, um, I cheersed with a girl. This is true. And I didn't look at her, and I didn't know you're supposed to make eye contact. And she said, "That's seven years bad sex." Yeah. And at the time, I thought, "Bullshit." And I tell you what, <laughs> that powerful witch. <laughs> she was bang on. So, so the spell will be broken this new year. <gasps> fingers crossed. <laughs> Sometime around June, we'll get the results in. Do you like New Year? Do you go out or do you stay at home? No, I never go out anymore. We've got children. We press up against the window <laughs> of the pub. <laughs> and wave, and wave. Oh, have, you had, have you had a good New Year's Eve? I had a lovely New Year once, and I remember there was this boy that I really fancied, and it was like I, I was kissing him for the first time, and it was like amazing. And then the clock struck midnight, and I was like, oh my god, I need to be with my friends. So I ran downstairs, and as I ran off so quickly, I dropped one of my shoes. And then I found my friends, and we were, happy new, happy new year. And I was like, oh, my God, my shoe's gone. And I couldn't find the boy anywhere. And then the next thing I know, the sort of people parted and the mist settled, and he was there holding my shoe, like Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> so you egged him off, you just went, cheers, mate. I thought I'd lost that. Off you are. <laughs> no, but that's a nice New Year story. Yeah, it's lovely, but it was also a dream, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Ro Roisin, have you had have you had similar New Year's Eves? No, I've not had a, a nice New Year's Eve like that. I don't really enjoy New Year's Eve that much. I find it quite. A lot of I'm pressure. single as well, and it's quite they're kissing at you know midnight and stuff. I have to go and run and hide somewhere so I don't. Otherwise, it looks like you're like looking, you know. <laughs> That's maybe the wrong expression to use. <laughs> <laughs> a New York Jewish tailor. <laughs> 
I stay indoors at New Year's. Set off some fireworks. <laughs> on the turkey's bum. <laughs> get you dinner and show. I bet you party like it's 1939. <laughs> 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 Let's have a look and see if New Year's Eve is up there. Yes, New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve can be a tough time for old people living alone, so what I like to do every year is not think about them because it's depressing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> New Year's Eve celebrations come from pagans in ancient Babylonia. Last year at New Year's, my nana got so drunk, she showed everyone her ancient Babylonians. <laughs> Fingers on buzzers, one more thing still to get. What, what do you think? They like television, don't they, Jimmy? They like watching the television shows that are specially laid on. Uh, <laughs> same ones every year, it seems. Like we have a lot of repeats. The only TV show that doesn't get repeated is Top of the Pops, and that's only for legal reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Everything the same, the same, the Queen's speech. I mean, Christ, when she's going to go, at least we can have a different speech from someone else. <laughs> No, there's great stuff on, you know, on, on at Christmas. Maybe one good thing. All right, all right. The, the, this morning, you do a lot of items about Christmas. We do, yes. Right. We teach you how to make the perfect Christmas turkey. Everyone needs to know that. To yeah. make one. Well, yeah, I mean, it's it. the head chef at Aldi does them, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have a look at my favourite this morning Christmas moment. I know it's a really mad thing to say, but I don't think I realised that turkeys had testicles. OK. Or yeah. where they put them oh. at Christmas when you get your where turkey. Where they put them at Christmas? <laughs> where does a turkey put its testicles at Christmas? <laughs> it sounds like a joke. <laughs> What's the punchline? It's such a sack. Live at ten in the morning. I mean, that's really deadly serious. Where do those bits this go? It's a sort of consumer point you're making. You feel like you're missing out. <laughs> <laughs> they go in the gravy. They go in the gravy. No, you never get them. What? The balls. They don't have balls. They're all female turkeys. Are they? Yeah. How does a turkey make another turkey? Oh, turkeys, well, men! The chickens lay eggs without having sex. They just lay eggs. Yeah. You want to watch a bit more BBC Four? <laughs> With chickens, there's yeah. a cock that has to fertilise the egg. No. Yes! Turkeys are all female, peacocks are all male. Because <laughs> you've got the pea hen. No, you don't. You do. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's what people tell you, because they don't want you to know the truth. Because <laughs> you can't handle the truth, Tolly. <laughs> you can't handle Sean, it. Sean, I think she might be ready for the truth. I'll tell you the truth. Okay. Turkey testicle. You know chicken nuggets from McDonald's? <laughs> Back to Christmas TV and away from turkey testicles. Uh, John, do you like Christmas TV? What's your favourite? I liked The Snowman and the Snow Dog. I loved that. Did you cry? Uh, Did yeah, you but for it? different reasons. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what's weird is that telly used to be the thing and then there were sometimes adverts, but now adverts are the thing mm. and you put up with telly to get to the new advert. And in the old days they had Morecambe and Wise and now we have John Lewis taking an old song and taking everything that was good out of it and someone just slightly whispers it, as if it's just someone sat next to you on the bus <laughs> telling you the lyrics of a song that you used to love, and then they sell you some shit. <laughs> You're gonna go with the John Lewis ad. The John Lewis ad's amazing. It's an emotional roller coaster. The one that caught me out is the Sainsbury's one this year, because it's all oh. different people having their Christmas, and there's one guy who goes, I, I like uh, Christmas, I like to do it properly, so this is my Christmas spreadsheet. And I thought, yeah, that's my guy. <laughs> and then the next clip is him, on his own, eating his Christmas dinner, going, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Shit, that's my guy. <laughs> Christmas ad I find puzzling is the M&S one with Helena Bonham Carter. Oh, if, yeah. If you want to shift clothes, you don't get her on. <laughs> she, she looks like she's been fly-tipped in a charity shop doorway, <laughs> doesn't she? <laughs> 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 Let's have a look and see if it's up there. Yes, Christmas TV. <laughs> I wish Anton Deck would stop doing those Morrison's adverts. They're misleading. I've looked everywhere in Morrison's and I can't find kangaroo anus anywhere. <laughs> At the end of that round, there's two points to Sean's team and one point to John's team. <laughs> it's 
is called eight out of ten cats. I see one cat on it. No, I don't, I don't think it's about cats, isn't it? Eight out of ten categories. Yeah, I mean, categories. Oh, oh, now I get it. Eight out of ten cats said. Meow. <laughs> no, eight out of ten cats. Well, they don't talk. Eight out of ten owners said their cats preferred it. Did That's you? where it comes from. Yeah, I know that. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Well, I wasn't sure. But eight out of ten cats. Go meow. So our next round is pick of the polls. Sean Henning and Rasheen first. What do you like the look of? Oh, is it the um, the carol singers? OK, all right, here's your question. Most people prefer Christmas carols to Christmas pop songs. True or false? Well, if they've got any sense, they do. <laughs> Christmas carols much better than them pop songs. Yeah, but you can't really party to them. You know, sort of, you can't have a last dance. Like, let's Christmas, you know, away in a main... No, it's the right old laugh. <laughs> Honestly, it's the right knees up. So you go, oh, Tannenbaum, oh, Tannenbaum, we grün sind deine Blätter. Du grünst nicht nur zur Sommerzeit, nein, auch im Winter, wenn es schneit. Oh, Tannenbaum, oh, Tannenbaum, wie grün sind deine Blätter. Now, that was every bit as good as that Michael Bubble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I prefer Wham. <laughs> Wham. What's yeah. interesting about Christmas carols is they stopped writing them about 130 years ago. It's just went, that's up, we've got enough. And I think that happened with Christmas pop songs as well. It's a, <laughs> it's a point in the sort of early <laughs> 80s <laughs> when around, we don't need any more. We don't need any more, we've got enough. There's no good new ones. What's the, yeah, what was the last, uh, the last one was like E17, oh, and yeah, that's, that's nothing to do with Christmas. Yeah. Christmas I come by any Camozzi and Chacademus. <laughs> What's that go, John? Uh, early 90s, I would say. What's it called? It... Christmas I come. And everybody have fun. <laughs> <laughs> How does it go? Give us a little bit of. Sing us a bit more. Uh, well, Christmas time, watch the girl, them a bubble and a wine, them a bubble and a bubble and a bubble and a wine. <laughs> Come now, all at all, can you love Christmas? How many you all heard? That one. Sean, sure. what about carols? Do you like carols? Yeah, everyone likes carols, don't they? They love it. Carols are dreadful, they're a horrible noise. I mean, about a pop song, if someone sings a pop song badly, it's still all right, isn't it? But a carol song badly, children sing. No, he's always oh, nice. All that Carol's whining the right drivel. Place. They only send them to old people's homes just to wipe a few out. <laughs> <laughs> the pensions crisis is getting too much, this. So they send a load of kids and go, <laughs> and just old people just die of the despair. <laughs> of it. And it's always, it depends on who sings them, isn't it? Stille Nacht, heilige Nacht, alle schläft. Just, just stop for a second. I want you to imagine a trench about there. Because what you refer to is obviously Christmas truths during World War I when the British soldiers were seeing the English version. The German soldiers were singing the correct version. And, uh, <laughs> so, and that was that feel of peace and, and, and community and, and shared experience. That, and that is what only Christmas carols give you. Yeah, but who won the football match? <laughs> they played football, didn't they? I think football was the winner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you think the nation prefer then, John? I can't... I, I, I'm Carol. certain it's pop do songs. You? I think it's pop songs. Yeah. I don't like any of them. Like... Mistletoe and wine. That's sinister. Why is it sinister? Well, it's come, someone coming at you with the two. <laughs> toe, drinking the wine, smelling of the wine, leering <laughs> in at you, like spilling a bit of wine means... on your dress. Come on, what's the matter with you? Frigid? Okay, so you're going to go, what are you going, John? I'm outvoted. They like, they like top songs. We're going to go pop songs. You're going to pop songs? Carols. We're going to carols. carols. Yeah. Well, I can tell you, it was very close, but the answer is false. Only 49% of people prefer Christmas carols. Oh! That's that. Yeah. Pop songs. <laughs> John's team, what do you like the look of? Oh. Um, the big gold house with all the lights on it. OK. 
What Trinity Close in Somerset has been labelled the most festive street in Britain after it was decorated with over 100,000 fairy lights. So we asked our studio audience, would you complain if your neighbours covered their house in Christmas lights? Yes or no? This is what they did. Wow. <laughs> They're bonkers. <laughs> I love that. That was next door to me. I'm going to make I a complaint. It. Who do you complain to, them or the council? Well, would you complain? I mean, they, putting up all them lights. The first thing I would do is call the police. Uh, <laughs> I would have them a arrested and then checked up here. <laughs> because what's them? That is essentially that saying, "Oh, look, we're ever so pious." It's not even we're ever that so pious. Is is more like. We're ever so full of ourselves. <laughs> and we're putting all them lights That's up. That's my bloody house, that Exactly. That <laughs> is the same sort of people that would go on a walk and then demand money because they're going on a walk and would claim it's for charity. <laughs> it's exactly that sort of people. It's that kind of thing. They're forcing their own stupid idea of world onto other people. I hate them. I want them shot. <laughs> It wasn't one word I disagreed with there, Henning. Me and you, together! <laughs> <laughs> OK. People put a lot of work into their decorations, none more so than these guys. Have a look at this house. Yeah. Yeah. When I walk on by, girls be looking like Debbie Fly. I pimp to the beat, walking down the street and my new the freak, yeah. This is how I roll, animal print pants out of control. It's Red Bull with the big-ass bra, and like Bruce Lee, I got the clout, yeah. Girl, look at that oh, yeah. Girl, look at that body. police, but I would have to give them some grudging respect because it is in a way hilarious. <laughs> I like the idea that inside there's just a little old man eating a boiled egg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, John, do you part the decorations yourself? Absolutely, mate. All over the house. <laughs> Absolutely. It's like uh, decommissioning Sellafield going to bed in my house. <laughs> Shut everything down and have rooms sealed off. I can't pay my electric bill, but I'm having a bloody good time. <laughs> Rasheen, do you put up Christmas decorations? I mean, you seem to be wearing some this evening. Um, yes. <laughs> I really love this. It's my favourite thing. I put up Christmas decorations badly, and I don't like trees that are sort of sparse. I hate, like, posh trees. You know, someone puts on, like, one sort of fake, like, ancient... Yeah, when they try and be classy. Yeah. yeah. You, sort of you want doing. tinsel. Yeah. Like Christmas tree, if you go around some people's houses, they've got no tinsel I because like they're no, too classy. Exactly. My wife won't have it in the house, I like tinsel. I don't. It's the only thing I you like don't about like tinsel. I don't like tinsel. It's a lovely thing in March as well, when you just see a little bit of tinsel out the back of your cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember that. You pulled that out, out a little bit. Kill it. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> OK, let's get some answers. So, um, would you complain if your neighbours covered their house in Christmas lights? Yes or no? What, what, what no. You... no. 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 Tis no. the season to be, Johnny. What do you think? Would they, would they complain? Henning gave our answer. Oh, f <laughs> nice. <laughs> Is that the noise yes, yes, made? we would, yes. <laughs> OK. I can tell you the answer is no. 83% of our audience would not complain if their neighbours cover their house in Christmas lights. <laughs> At the end of that round, Sean Henning and Rasheen have two points. John Holly and Alan have three points. <laughs> OK, next up, we've got a very special Christmas bonus round. Please welcome our very own Father Christmas, Joe Wilkinson. <laughs> Why are you dressed as the Easter Bunny? I'll be honest with you, I went to get the uh, Santa outfit like you asked, but they were like 40 quid. <laughs> Not made of money. This was 20 quid, so, you know... <laughs> for, well, actually, I'll be honest with you, Jim, if you hadn't brought it out, no-one would have noticed. <laughs> what, what? Why the dogs? Why have you got two massive dogs? 
Any idea how hard it is to get reindeers in South London? <laughs> I believe you've got some questions for us. Oh, yes. Uh, you might have to hold one. Um, All right, yeah, lovely. Can lovely. you hold lavender? <laughs> that's <laughs> lavender, that's <laughs> Gus. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, sure. Do you want to... You qu question away. Question yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Right. OK, oh. do you want me to take them? Uh, yeah, go on. In... Sure. They are absolutely hammered. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look at ease. Oh, no, I feel fine. I'm absolutely fine. <laughs> <laughs> I should point out, Jimmy, they're incredibly strong. <laughs> right, so uh, what we do, we're going to ask each. Uh... All right, Holly. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Should we... uh... Is your mum around to look after the dogs? Mum. <laughs> So bonus round, Joe, you're on the oh, question. Oh, yes, yes, go. right. So what we do, I'm going to ask both teams a question. Sean's question first. And uh, if you get it right, you win a special prize. So can we bring out the special prize, please? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Very kind. Uh, uh, your special prize, Sean, uh, you have the chance to win the world's longest can of oxtail soup. <laughs> <laughs> I, sh I, should point, I should point out, I could only afford one glamorous assistant. That's just a dentist. <laughs> right, Sean, your question is... True or false? If a fat old man in a red suit really did climb down your chimney in the middle of the night while your family slept, would he be convicted of breaking and entering and be sentenced to a maximum of six years in prison? I'd say true. True? Yeah. It's yeah. false! Take it away! Oh. <laughs> he would be done for trespassing because he did not steal anything. You idiot! What a weird man. Yeah, John! That was a trick question. I have to so protest. So I close. didn't understand what you said. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Let's see what John's team can win tonight. Bring it out! John has the chance to win the world's second longest can of oxtail soup. <laughs> right, John, your question is, if when you are drunk, you decide to open all the pretend presents under the Christmas tree in the Beehive pub in Swindon, like my friend Lloyd did last Christmas, will the landlord A, push him over a bar stool, or B, <laughs> call him an anus? <laughs> Likely to push over the bar stool then. Yeah. Is that what you're going for? Bar stool. Yeah, bar stool. It's correct! <laughs> you win the second longest can of Oxdale Soup! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Father Christmas, Joe Wilkinson! <laughs> so the winner is, is the name of our final round. Here's your question Hardest New Year's resolution to keep. Not saying the. <laughs> do, you ever, do you keep New Year's resolutions? Never. I never really make them because I know that I'm not gonna. Like I always think, oh, I'll try and be healthier and do more exercise, and I never do. I just can't do it. Yeah, and you've piled on the pounds, if I may say so. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Ironically. <laughs> Fucking hell, that's why I don't talk to women. <laughs> Try and have a little ha-ha, you're not fat. <laughs> I didn't mean you were fat when I said you were. Don't talk about them. Don't talk about talk them. Talk to them, don't talk about them. I talked to her and look what happened. No, but you're talking about them. Talk to you. Whatever. <laughs> you know what my New Year's resolution is? Be more chivalrous to feminists. Let me, let me carry those dumbbells. <laughs> Chivalrous just means good, just being polite. Most feminists like manners. people to be polite. It's good manners. They don't, they don't like it. Is it? It's they just if you hate us, don't they? Don't, <laughs> feminists don't hate men, they just... They do hate men, though. Saying you're not, are you a feminist? I'm not. That's like, you're, saying you're not a feminist is like saying you're I not, do. not do. a racist. How do you call me a feminist? <laughs> of course you're a feminist. <laughs> I don't. You're a feminist, you're never, I don't ever touch one. <laughs> You have to be a feminist. Oh, why? What have I done? Because you believe in equal rights for women.
Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Henning, new, new Year's resolutions, have you got any? Uh, yeah, I've almost got the same. Don't get a heart attack. <laughs> on, on more than one occasion, I've managed to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but this thing about New Year's resolutions is a bit of a strange one, isn't it? It's just the reverse of the Santa wish list, isn't it? Santa wish list says, I want loads of chocolate. And then New Year's resolution is, oh, I wish I hadn't eaten all that chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> so, so essentially, if you have got your expectation and needs under control, you don't really need a New Year's resolution. <laughs> because you stay on top of your life anyway. <laughs> Alternatively, you could stop shouting easy life at airport firemen. <laughs> oh, you know, you see them, you think, you only have about one fire every ten years. <laughs> what a job that is. They should make them do something else. They should make them do something else. They what? can't even repair cars, can they? Because you can't get on with a car into the airfield. I've never seen a fireman repair cars. <laughs> well, they don't do that in public. They obviously do that uh, in their hangars. <laughs> Yeah, look at it. about. <laughs> this, this really, this really <laughs> genuinely feels like Christmas now. <laughs> People just talking <laughs> shite. You're telling, me, you're telling me you didn't know about fireman repairing cars. What about you, Jimmy? What, Do you what? have New Year's resolutions? New Year's resolutions. Mm. I had one a couple of years ago, which was I genuinely had a New Year's resolution, which was to take up drinking. Because I hadn't had a drink in about ten years, really? and I thought I should probably take up drinking again. How did you get on with that? That was an awesome New Year's Day. <laughs> it was amazing. If I hadn't drunk for ten years, I'd just spend a lot of time just weeping, going, "All those years I wasted." <laughs> and you'd remember every face. second of it as well, wouldn't you? Yeah, you can remember a lot of stuff. It's annoying. Horrific. Now, mint Baileys. I don't remember a fucking thing. <laughs> drink mint Baileys. Is that Who doesn't drink mint Baileys? Out? You're like an eighty-five-year-old lady. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big eggnog man as well. Oh, God! I love an eggnog. What is eggnog made of? And obviously eggs, I know, but what's the other bit? What's no. the nog? <laughs> I've, never, I've never had it. Well, a I've nog is it. a I know they do it. You can it? have, like, an eggnog Starbucks or whatever it is, and you're like, well, I don't even know what that is. To be fair, you don't nog anything else, do you? You only nog an egg. <laughs> what well, eggs have done that wrong? Bacon, bacon nog. You can put the that word bacon like next nice. to anything and I'll still eat it. <laughs> you know what I've always wanted to do? I wanted, always wanted to start using wishing wells for good rather than evil. <laughs> See, Sean, it's, why don't you wish something good? And I think this year, when I use a wishing well, I wish for something good, but I always wish for bad things. <laughs> the power, the power. And it's hard to resist. And I, every time I flick it over, I go, wish something good. And then the last minute, as the coin's flying through the air before it hits the water, I go, <laughs> <laughs> So let's get some answers on this hardest New Year's resolution to keep. Smoking. Exercise. Exercise, yeah. It's linked to that. Food. Eating. 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 Losing weight is the right answer, Henning. Got it. Well, that sound tells me it's the end of the round and the end of the show, which means the final scores are Sean Hanning and Roisin have three points, John Holly and Alan have three points. It's a draw. Everyone's a winner. <laughs> OK, to play us out, please welcome Mick Helm. Nick, what have you got for us? Gonna do a song. Right, okay, well, away you go. Who's your daddy? Yes, it's me. Yeah, I'm the one who put all of your gifts under the tree. I took three jobs to buy that bike. Your scale, extra set, and all the other shit you like. Well, look at what you got for pops. Half a pound of peanuts and some Mitchy woolen socks. It's time you heard you're six years old. Consider yourself lucky that you're getting more than gold. Hey, Johnny, I got some news for you. Oh, my God, his belly's hanging out. Uh, wobbling. Hey, Johnny, I got some news for you. There ain't no fucking Santa Claus. <laughs> There ain't no fucking Santa Claus! There ain't no fucking
Fuck him! I drank his sherry, ate his pie I hate the carrot too, there's no such thing as that fat guy You ain't been grateful, you ain't been good I've had it up to here, so let's get one thing understood Hey Johnny, I got some news for you Hey Johnny, I got some news for you There ain't no fucking Santa Claus There ain't no fucking Santa Claus There ain't no fucking Santa Claus Nick Helm, everyone, Nick Helm! Oh, I love it. That was really good. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> That's it from us. We'll be back on Friday with a new series of AS and Cats Just Countdown. Good night. Hello, I'm Jimmy Carr, and I, I don't want to impose on your day. I know you just watched a clip of me. You probably had enough of me already. But if you could like and subscribe, that would help me in some way, which I don't fully understand. I think basically if you, if you like and subscribe, then down the line I have a more comfortable retirement. I don't know.